Um, the students were involved in a lesson where they learned how to perform CPR, um, a hands-only CPR with the use of mannequins provided by the American Heart Association and funded through the Community Foundation of Westmoreland County. Um, it was a very engaging lesson. Um, it kind of brought the lesson that they uh, do on the heart in their seventh grade science classes uh, to fruition in, in the sense that um, they actually were able to apply some of their, their knowledge in the CPR training. Um, most of the students indicated they really enjoyed the lesson um, because it was hands-on, it got them up out of their seats and they were actually doing something as opposed to reading about something or taking notes on something. They were actually performing CPR, not just watching someone uh, teach them how to do it or tell them how to do it. They were actually doing CPR. Uh, well, in the seventh grade science classes, part of their curriculum is to learn about the um, human body, uh, the heart being a, a very critical part of that. So they spend a lot of time learning about the heart, the parts of the heart, the function of the heart. Um, so when they then come in here and learn about the um, learn CPR, they're able to, you know, uh, like I said, apply it a little bit better. Well, I was quite shocked that the um, survival rate for, C for sudden cardiac arrest is uh, about 5% nationwide, and I'm under the understanding that a similar program uh, in Seattle has increased the survival rate to like 45%. So if we can have the same success here that they had out west, uh, I think it'll be a great program.